I'm Mahmoud Bennett, and this is your weekly rundown. Big update, Russia-Ukraine is what's making headlines as the White House says Russia's planning a quote, extremely violent invasion. Already thousands of people in Eastern parts of Europe have fled to Russia over fears. The fighting will escalate. It's a hot mess. Keep up to date with our website for the latest. And hey, let's get some updates from our team on the stories that we're working on today. Gwen Baumgartner, take it away. So the big story today, of course, what's going on between Russia and Ukraine. But I did a story for the Straight Arrow website looking at why does that conflict even matter to Americans? Should it matter to Americans? Uh, so I spoke with an expert who says, when we're looking at stability or instability in Europe, how that really can come over and affect our financial markets. So I did a piece on that, but you know, we've heard a lot about Russia and Ukraine. Pushing that aside, my other story I'm working on is dealing with Amazon's CEO. And if you think that's Jeff Bezos, it is not, he's retired now. So I am doing a just one name on Andy Jassy, the new Amazon CEO and what this means for the future of Amazon. Annie? Hey Gwen, Congress is out of session, but it's still a really busy week here in Washington, D.C. I'm working on a quick story about a New York Times report identifying who's behind QAnon. That'll be out today. And in our D.C. Dictionary Department, I know you guys all love those, what do Liz Cheney and Adam Kinzinger have in common? Well, they're both Republicans and they've both been censured. It's a word we're seeing a lot lately in the headlines. We know it's a bad thing, but is it just a fancy way for our party to express disapproval? What does it actually do? Find out in my next DC Dictionary Explainer. Back to you in Omaha. Well, first of all, happy President's Day to everybody out there. We hope some of you guys are enjoying a nice day off, but don't worry because we are right here with the Straight Arrow News team keeping track of everything that's going on. I'm monitoring those social media channels. Right now, we actually have former President Donald Trump's True Social app, which just launched last night around midnight. That has now gone out. It's around the top free apps out there. Users trying to get on, getting error messages, telling them that there's actually a wait list due to the high demand, so we're keeping an eye on that. Also, UN spokesperson right now talking about the Russia-Ukraine situation, what to watch for as we go into the rest of this week, what could potentially go on there. So keep an eye on that. We'll be monitoring everything on the social side to keep you guys up to date. Thanks team. And those are all the updates for now from the Straight Arrow Newsroom. StraightArrowNews.com is where you'll find the latest and breaking. And you can also follow us on our socials that are all linked down in the description below. That's your weekly rundown. We'll see you in the next one.